Bowser. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Take that, Bowser. Take that. No! You've really beaten me this time. Mario, I can't stand losing to you. My troops, worthless, have turned over all the power stars. What? There are 120 in all? Amazing! There were some I missed in the castle I, that I missed? Now I see peace returning to the world. Ooh! I really hate that. I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that control stick smoking. <laughs> There you go, guys. That was Super Mario 64. Completed 100%. And now we just sit back and watch this amazing cutscene if I have time. I probably will have time. <sighs> Man, that was fun. Fun LP. I had the water get back in the moat. I don't know. That's okay, I don't care about trivial things like getting water back in birds. And there is that big ass star that we just got. Was that something green I just saw in the top left hand corner of the screen? Mm, probably, I wasn't paying too much attention. But there we go, the princess was in the star that whole time. And there we go. Look at all that, look, that is just amazing. The best reward there is. A princess. Oh, and there are her turds that must have come out of the castle just as she appeared or something. I don't know. Ooh. Are you the ever so humble plumber? Just wanted a cake and got himself in all this mess. Mario. Yep, that's me. The power of the stars is restored to the castle. Damn straight. Oh, and there's some birds flying past. I wonder if I spray them, I might get some blue coins. No problem. All in a day's work. Uh huh. <laughs> Here, we go. Here we go, indeed, Mario. Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. I would enjoy that. Mario. <laughs> well, for me, really? Oh, Mario just hesitates for a second. He, there you go, that's the debt of gratitude he pays to us and to the Lakitu, Lakitu bro that followed him around this entire game. And there we go, we got some birds fly off into the sun. And now we get to sit back and watch all the places we've been to. Uh, this will probably be the next part, or maybe not. Let's just analyze Super Mario 64 for a moment. This game was released back in <coughs> 1996, and let's say for other games of its time, it had pretty good graphics. Pretty good graphics. Um, gameplay. Well, that penguin got massive. Gameplay is pretty good, except the controls. I know I've, I've said this quite a number of times in the LP, but the controls are really stiff and restraining, I think. I find that anyway. Um, <clears throat> but apart from that, everything in this game is awesome. And what I like to see in video games is most games you get these days involve, you know, people shooting each other, stealing cars, you know, just weird alien races, deaths left, right, and center to progress the storyline. This game, oh, it's simple animation, simple storyline, simple. It was completely, it was just simple. There's no real backstory to it. You pretty much understood everything as soon as you started playing it. You know, I think this is one of the, a true, this is a, what a true video game should be. There's Snowman's Land, and there's a big penguin there that stopped us from getting knocked off. Um, 
yeah, this game pioneered, I think, the rest of the Super Mario, uh, the Super Mario 3D series. I mean, without this game, you wouldn't have any Super Mario Sunshine or Super Mario Galaxy, really. Many people, I think, criticize this game too much for being too simple and just, you know, too hard to control. But I don't know. I, I love this game. One of the best games for the Super Mario, or for the Nintendo 64. I think this game really carried the console. I mean, it sold the most copies of any other game on the console. So there's a fish tank we went to on a console that oh, Charles Martinet. There you go, a legend. Is the voice of Super of Mario, Super Mario, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, the Nintendo 64, the last game console to have um cartridges, really. And um, I didn't know you could get up on there. Uh, yeah, it only lasted a few years before the GameCube came out. It was like, I don't know, this game, they didn't really have many good games to it, but yeah, this was really one of them. I mean, probably had other good games, but whatever. And there we go. That was Super Mario 64 entirely. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Thank you so much for playing my game. Mario, it was my pleasure. And I'll see you guys in the bonus episode of Super Mario 64 I'll have coming up after this one. Farewell for now, but not forever. See you guys.